this is at least a difference of about 40 yards between those those two other tee shots and this one. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. I hope I've been doing that with the Zen Golf review that I've been doing lately. This morning we're going out to test what I've learned on course for the first time. So if you've been following along with the channel recently and you've subscribed and hit the bell to get all the notifications, you've seen the previous three videos that I've put up. Number one was just working in my garage on getting the motion down, getting the footwork down. Number two was me out on the driving range hitting real golf balls and trying it out with real golf balls for the first time. And number three was the walk-in shot, which brought me to a whole nother level and I felt very successful with that. Now I started a new job this past week. I have not had as much time to go out and practice and work on things. I've got some stuff going on around the house as well. So I haven't been able to put in quite as much time as I would have liked, but nevertheless, we're going out today to test it on course. So I'm just getting warmed up. Uh, this is hole number two. I did not hit the range before. I probably should have. Um, so I'm a little tight this morning. It's chilly, but uh, got a pitch shot. Got to get up and down, try and save par. Not bad. A little left so far. Uh, I'm through like four holes. I haven't hit a fairway and I haven't hit a green yet. And I did not hit this fairway. I'm left. It's been a little erratic, but you know, there's a lot of elements playing against me right now, and I don't feel like my mental game is. I don't know. I feel like I'm all spinning around in my head. So I'm going to try and just calm down and get this back out onto the green and try and save par. And that's not going to do it. Okay, so through five holes, I am four over. I've made one par and four bogeys. I'm on a par three now. Uh, the sign says it's 140. Wind is just howling. I'm gonna try something a little bit different on this tee shot. I'm gonna try and do one of my drills to swing the golf club. almost ace that. That's perfect. That's it. Let's see if I can make this for birdie. That. That's, that's it. Or, right in the middle with a four iron. I've got 130 left in. Gonna hit the utility wedge. I apologize, I can't take you out there. It's cart path only on most of these holes. It's a muddy mess, so I'm gonna have to get it from this angle. Let's see if I can make the green. And I'm probably gonna have to move this golf ball a little bit because it is just a mud hole. caught that one really thin because I did not want to go down into the mud and splatter my face. That's just a mental breakdown. out of the middle. So far this has been either great or terrible. I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. I shouldn't be. Uh, so I'm going to try and calm down. I'm not sure what's going on. 
Um, but I need to get back in that, that rhythm. And um, I thought I had it, and then it disappeared, and then it came back, and then it kind of disappeared. This could be just that it's still really new, or um, it could be just me mentally. So, short par four, driver, just going to try and swing through it. Just the feet, that's it. That was it. Just smooth. Get through the ball. That's that's it. That's right up the gut. So I may have stumbled onto something here. So many of us associate power and, and speed and distance with effort and hit. We all know that. When I was out on the range last week, I heard the sound, and it sounds explosive. I think once you hear that explosive sound and then you come back the next day or the next week, you feel powerful, you feel like that explosive sound should happen, and if you don't hear that explosive sound right off the bat or something, you're putting in more effort trying to make the explosive sound instead of letting that sound happen from just good tempo and rhythm and just coming through and getting through the ball, uh, it'll happen. So I think I've been chasing that sound and I've been putting too much into it instead of being more relaxed and rhythmic and just letting it build and gather and being patient. Squares the right side on that birdie putt, it's par. this shot I'm really gonna try to just feel it load up on that right foot and then be patient and make the the left board you know if you're on that footboard that Marcus has you have to make that footboard go down first before this can go and you just have to let it go so I'm gonna try and load and then be patient and um, and just try and get through to a finish and hold the finish that relaxed finish that's what I'm looking for Okay, that's really well struck. I'm really happy with it. It is right of my target by probably 12 to 15 yards, uh, but I struck it pretty solid, and I felt the load, and I felt the left board click and then drop in. Um, as with any swing, I mean, I think the one of the big key points is to try less. I mean, you really have to take your effort level down, and that's with any system. Um, and that is really something that so many of us struggle with, especially if you're coming over the top or whatever. When you get it back here, maybe you make a good backswing, and then you gotta you gotta go after it. And I think it takes a little bit of patience and character and discipline to get it back here, and then to let it let it just develop and to be patient and wait on it. even over that pitch shot I was thinking patience and just to let the club sort of get back here and then just drop itself and that hit the, the stick if the stick hadn't been in would it have stayed in the cup I'm not sure but that was a really great pitch shot and uh, you know it up and down for par onto a long par four here that should be a good test of the driver for me patience
Much better, much better tempo than what I had on the front nine. Uh, that's that's making all the difference in the world. Well struck, a little unbalanced finished. Left it off to the right, but still, that's not bad with a four iron out of the rough. That four iron, by the way, I shot the flag. It says I was 221 out. Hit a four iron out of the rough. And I'm just a couple of yards shy of this uh, this green, so a pretty good distance. I'm gonna try and chase this one up a little bit. All right, that released super nice. That's about three or four feet away. I'll try a couple of drivers here. So that one wasn't bad. But it did start left and then turn left, and it felt like I was coming over a little bit instead of just being patient and letting it go through. So I'm going to try two more tee shots. That one was a great flight right down the target line. Um, no complaints. That one came out low. It was down the target line, but it was low. The difference between those. The first one, I was trying to help it with my arms. The second one, I completely trusted it and let go and just stepped nice and easy to the left. Click the board and let the club drop. The third one, I stomped the gas a little bit with the left foot. I stomped on it a little bit more. You can't do that. It's got to be a smooth acceleration, a smooth transfer of weight. Uh, it can be fast, fast or slow, but it's got to be a smooth transition of weight. It can't be a, a stomp, anything aggressive. Okay, so here's the first ball. You can see I'm behind these trees. I'm a little short. The third, the one that was really low, where I stomped it, it is dead across from me. As far as distance between the first and the third ball, they are equal. Uh, this one is just out in the fairway, whereas this one's kind of trapped behind trees. Let's go up here and see if we can find the second one, which I suspect is past these trees. Here's the third ball. It's up here. I am past these trees a little bit. This is at least the difference of about 40 yards between those, those two other tee shots and this one. Um, this one was just trusting it and letting it go. There's 40 yards difference between that. It's dead perfect. What did I learn from today's round? Well, I learned that I need more practice with the system. That's for sure. A um, couple of key points just to kind of round things up here and put it into a, a, a nice little box with a neat little bow on it. Um, driver was hit and miss, mostly miss. Uh, so I need to work on my driver. I focused a little bit too much on 7 iron and, and 5 iron and pitch and wedge and things like that on the range without very much work on the driver. With the irons, when you're out on the driving range and you're standing over the golf ball and you're about to send it down range at some target you choose or maybe you're not even choosing a target, um, the pressure is off. This is a universal concept that has been around in golf for eons, taking your range game to the golf course. It's very difficult to do. It is especially difficult to do when you are trying to get out over a shot and take the tension away because there are consequences. There are consequences when you miss your target. There's bunkers, there's water, there's trees, uh, there's terrible lies, there's short side in yourself. There's all sorts of stuff that's waiting for you if you miss your target and you don't send it down range along the line that you intended. That's universal in golf. Uh, I've got to definitely work on that. That's a mental aspect of my game. I'm hoping that Zen will help me with that to give me a little bit more confidence over the ball so that I'm not so bit I'm not so much worried about the consequences. I'm just thinking target and that's it. 
So all in all, I need more practice. I need to work on the system a little bit more. I need to work on grooving it. It's a new approach. Anytime you're doing anything new, it's going to take some time. It's going to take a little bit of effort. It's going to take some practice. That's it for this 18 holes. Not the best day as far as scoring or you know being accurate. I didn't have a lot of fairways. I didn't have a lot of greens. Uh, all in all, you know, it was nothing to write home about. But I learned some things from it, and moving forward, I think that'll help me. So. I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to click thumbs up down below for the Zen Golf review that I'm doing in depth here. I appreciate you guys giving me all the support that you do. And stay tuned. I mean, I've got plenty more coming, and I'm going to get into some different things, and I can only go up from here. So I'll see you next time.